trouble. So the, the fire guns, like you can see the fire going out of the guns. You could see the fire from the muzzle blast. Yeah, that what happened basically. It's too much, it's not like one, two, three times. It's more than that. Ismail Salam's driver's seat was a front row seat to a shootout. He ended up with just a few cuts, but it was closer to disaster than he ever wants to be again. I'm okay, like I can walk. <laughs> yeah, I'm alive, that's the most thing I'm happy with. Because everyone saw the car, they was like, how he even get out? Salam says he was driving home from class when he saw people in the two cars firing at each other. He tells me before he knew it, he was right next to them and was hit by one of the cars sending him into the wall and flipping. This is his car flipped upside down. Police say another car driven by a 15 year old was involved in the shootout. After colliding with the other vehicle involved, the teen ran off the road. He and a 20-year-old in his car were both seriously injured. All of this causing the interstate to be shut down for hours. It's a nightmare. I went home at four after I finished the police district down to the hospital. The 15-year-old had three passengers in his car. He and a 20-year-old were seriously hurt. It's all been too much to take for Salam. Um, I can't sleep all night, of course. It just, you're dreaming with that, you know what I mean? Right, you it keep just, dreaming it yeah, over and over, reliving hard, it in your yeah. head. When you just see the car again, any picture or something, you feel there's something wrong happened. A nightmare that's keeping one victim awake. Yeah, so you can see why he's not able to sleep. He says he was basically hanging upside down in a car, trying to determine whether he should get out and risk being hit by another car or stay with the vehicle, maybe taking an impact in there. He couldn't see because the airbags had gone off in every direction. So pretty terrifying moments uh, for that young man. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian, can you tell us a little bit more about how these cars were traveling when all of this started? Yeah, I have some tiles here to maybe help sort this out a little better. It's a little hard to understand just looking at video. But what you had were two vehicles moving down the highway. They're shooting at each other in these two vehicles when the other vehicle, this one driven by our victim, this car turns sideways. He slams into the wall and flips here. These two cars continue down the highway, firing at each other. Then they hit side by side. This vehicle with the 15-year-old driving and the other passengers hits the embankment, and this car continues on. They are still looking for whoever was in that other car. Cherie? All right. Good explanation, Brian. Very visual there. Thanks so much.